Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and today I am bringing you my first ever naval upload for Total War. And actually, this was only the second battle that I played. I did play one other battle just before this to see if I was actually going to be even getting any good content. And we actually did win that one. But we played a second one here, and this one was uh, much more close and much more epic. So I've got it on slow motion right now, and uh, we can kind of take a look at what everybody's bringing to the battle, and then we'll get the battle started. So taking a look at my army, I'm playing as Macedon. The rules were maxed to artillery ships, so I have brought that. I've got these uh, artillery onagers. And then I have uh, two units of militia hoplites, one kind of on each flank. And then in the center, I've got four units of the raiding Hemiolia. It's just a javelin unit. And then in behind, I've got eight units of the Thurios Spears. So more elite infantry in behind. And then I've got my general bodyguard over here. The heavy Hepters. And it's just an archer unit with my general bodyguard in there. And it's actually going to start off pretty quickly, so I'm just going to pause it and take a look at the rest of the army comps. So we've also got Egypt here. They are my ally. So he's got Egyptian infantry for his general. It's looking very, very elite there. And then over towards his right, he's got a lot of the Carrion Axemen, so I think uh, three or four units of them. And he's bringing his uh, two Eastern Ballista. And he's got kind of two throwaway units of Nubian Spearmen in front there. So they're kind of just uh, on their own. And then he's bringing a lot of Egyptian archers as well. I think uh, four or five units of them. And he's got some Nubian Spearmen over here, pot throwers. And then we're actually facing two Roman uh, players. So the first player is kind of in the front here. So we'll kind of just go right over top of what he's bringing. So he's got some of the uh, Hastati pot throwers. So it looks like he's got a lot of them. Four units or so. Five, actually. And here we go. And now he's getting into his assault uh, ships. So he's got uh, a lot of Hastati. Looks like uh, five units of them. And then he's got some Velites as well on the medium warship. So they're much larger, as you can tell. Looking very elite. So I think he's got four units of them. Yes, he does. And then he's got some Principes. So these guys are pretty elite in melee, but you want to make sure to kind of get them off, off of your boat and into battle. So he's got three more units of them, and then he's got his two artillery ships over here. Whoops. There we go. And here is, uh, here is the general for that player. And then this is the last uh, Roman enemy. He's kind of deployed in behind his ally. I guess he's going to support wherever he feels is needed. So he's bringing a lot of Velites. Looks like a three, four, four units. And then he's got some Leves, just basic uh, javelins. He's got his Roman onager behind here with his uh, general bodyguard, the Triarii. So very elite there. And I think he had a couple other units in the front. Yeah, he's got a lot of Principes. Just uh, five units of them in the front. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I think the battle does start off here with my uh, Javelins moving into battle. So I guess we'll go ahead and put this on play. And let's zoom in and see what, what the uh, view is from them. Yeah, the artillery ships are firing. But we are also returning fire with our own artillery. I can't imagine how scary this would be. Like, it's it's different in a land battle. Oh, nice big ram coming in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just wrecked that ship. I think all of them are, are yet going to drown, unfortunately. Wow, so explosive start to this battle. I'm really throwing a lot of my uh, cheaper javelin units into the battle quickly. Just because I wanted to kind of absorb their fire. But I've got my general also uh, in the heat of the battle. You can see all the archers are uh, really being targeted by the Roman infantry and the Roman ramming ships. Ooh. And I, th 
Yeah, you can you can really see the uh, the general actually getting cut, kind of a, the general unit getting cut down. Ooh, yeah, a lot of them falling there. But we're gonna push forwards and try and ram this smaller ship in front of us. Yes, there we go. Unit of Principe is just thrown into the water. Let's uh, kind of zoom out and, and see what's going on. So, yeah, I've really got control of this flank, but they are pushing in really well in the center. Kind of the combined forces. Too much for me to handle. But looks like the Egyptians, they're kind of hanging back a little bit more and just uh, firing onto this poor unit of Hastati with all the ammo they can muster. Oh, man. Let's uh, zoom in there. Yeah, a lot of archer fire coming in there. Yeah, that boat is probably going to break. Let's uh, zoom over and kind of get into the action over here. I've got a lot of my boats really, really trying to ram. But as you can see, uh, way over there, my general is actually breaking, which was really annoying. But I still feel like I have this... Uh, I have this this flank. I think I can still take them out. I'm really pushing on his artillery ships. Throwing my Pila across there. He's gonna get some good fire on my uh, on my ship's flank though, as we're moving into ram. Oh, there's a good ram there for one of my boats. I'm not sure if it's sinking, that's why they're jumping overboard. I believe it is. Yeah, it's slowly slipping between the waves. You can see over here, that's so awesome too, how the sails are kind of just sinking below. That is that is a scary sight. I am pretty petrified of sharks, so this would not be an ideal situation for me. But yeah, a lot of my inf a lot of my boats is still holding together, which is really good for me, considering that my general is dead. Nice, another really hard ram there. But these principes will hold for a while. Here we go. This is gonna be a double ram here. Oh yes! All of the men kind of slipping between the waves. Yeah, you can see them all drowning there. Oh, that is that is tough to see if you are rooting for the Romans. A lot of the Macedonians are holding on. I think for my flank, there's only a couple more units. And I'm coming in behind. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So many men. Here comes the general's bodyguard. I'm actually going to ram it with one of my artillery ships. Get a good hit there. Oh, but he's... Did he did he sink my artillery ship? Yeah, it looks like. But there goes the general's bodyguard. An excellent broadside ram from my Thurio Spears. They're really saving this battle, that's for sure. Most, most of my other infantry is broken. You can see I'm pretty much just down to my Thurio Spears. Over on this flank, Egypt is doing quite well. He kind of took took a more slow approach to it. He has lot, lost uh, almost all of his ranged uh, boats, but let's uh, kind of zoom in here and see uh, where this boat is going. Nice hit into the uh, Roman artillery ships there. Uh, where is, where is the general going for this guy? Let's see if we, can we attach onto that? Yes, we can. Oh, except it's not, not really good for zooming in on. Let's see if I can get back. There we go. That's better. It looks like we're pushing forwards into that boat there. Are they going to get a hit? Yeah, it looks like. Very nice. I'm not sure if much boarding was going on here. Oh, it looks like we got some boarding over here, actually. Let's take a look here. Oh, they... Yeah, it looks like they had slaughtered all the Egyptians over here 
on this vessel. And they had just finished boarding out and then they were all slain. But interestingly enough, there's still two Romans here stuck on the Egyptian ship. So I guess they are just fleeing the battlefield. They will be one of the only units that survives this mess for the Roman infantry. Everyone else is retreated at this point, except for this one boat over here at the end. Looks like it routed and came back. So I'm just going to zoom in from their point. Kind of finish the battle there. Looks like you can just see on the horizon all the Roman ships just gone. There's no more of them. But I guess this, this infantry is going to be brave. They don't feel like they should be hanging back dishonoring for the Romans so they're going to push forwards against the might of the Egyptian Macedonian fleet it's kind of their last cheer Oh, you can hear the artillery shots coming in. That's my uh, artillery firing on them, I believe. Oh yeah, here comes the artillery. Oh, just missing. Oh, nice hit with the artillery. Last ram here. Yeah, and they're all gone. Very, very epic battle. It's too bad that they don't allow you to stay in insert like... Uh, and like have your guy kind of fly over under the waves but maybe that will come for future uh future total wars but you can see how yeah, look at some of the infantry just still in the air about to meet their doom so let's end the replay and take a look at the results uh, a couple of things about this video guys let me know if you like the naval battles i really actually want to practice a lot more on napoleon naval battles because there is a new mod uh i believe it's called the Darth mod or something like that uh, for Napoleon Total War that kind of just revamps the the naval aspect and I would like to get some of that on my channel so if you guys are interested in that please let me know uh, and also I've kind of changed the position of my mic so just uh, I'm going to listen back on this video obviously but if you guys kind of liked it where it was before uh, feel free to let me know as well but taking a look at the kills um, not really substantial kills but it's because when you ram ships the ones that die from drowning actually don't count. So that was 482, 564 for my ally. And then a 606 for one of the players. I believe that was the second player. And 217 for the first one. So taking a look at the results, uh, pretty hit or miss. A lot of my cheaper uh, jabby units and the militia hoplites didn't do much. But uh, it was the ram uh, from the... Thurio Spears, those ships that got the most kills. And my Artie ships didn't do too bad. Looking at uh, Senator Ernesto, Ernesto, uh, him doing really well. This Egyptian infantry, 102 kills. That's really good. Uh, 101 by the archers. And then looking at the first player up, yeah, a lot of his infantry really, really suffered just because I think it got rammed uh, very quickly. Uh, with Rome, their ships are kind of lighter, I find, so you really have to try to dodge the ram or throw a weaker boat in front to take the brunt of the ram and then get your infantry onto the ships they have to be fighting in melee uh, but the knight did a little bit better you can see 160 by his prince pace here that's really good and his velite is doing well so really really good all around so yeah thanks very much for watching guys be sure to like comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more rome 2 or more naval content on my channel and i will see you in the next one